Lesson first, the Happy Valley. The lepchas live on the Kanchenjunga slopes. Kanchenjunga, according to them, is a sacred abode of gods and high above the hills. Behind the Kanchenjunga is a mall, a beautiful secret valley. The ancestors of Lepcha tribe are believed to inhabit mall. However, no one can reach mall as the path towards it is protected by fierce demons. The pass is also blocked by a large heavy rock. The rock cannot be removed by any human. Earlier, ancestors would come down to the valley of the lepchas, but then they felt that the new generation of lepcha was not virtuous enough, so they stopped coming. The lepchas were unhappy and tried looking for the elders, but could not find them. One day, a young lepcha named Sangha went hunting to a far away forest and came across a river. He noticed a unique branch of a tree floating on the river. It had a beautiful green needle-like leaves and a golden bark. He thought the branch must be from Mel. So Mel has to be somewhere upstream. Sangha left his hunting equipment and climbed up the rocks, following the river. He kept climbing for several days, crossed a forest and a snow-covered mountain range till he reached a beautiful valley. He knew it was a male. Sangha went to the first hut and knocked on the door. An old woman welcomed him and offered him a simple meal. They were joined by an old man. Sangha was tired after days of walking, so he soon fell asleep on a rug. Next morning, he woke up on hearing children's voice. He saw a little boy and a girl playing. He thought they were the neighbor's children and the old couple had perhaps gone out for some work. He asked the children about the old couple. We are the old couple you met last evening, replied the little boy. Sangha was shocked. How can it be true? This is the way of our world, said the little girl. In the morning, we are children. By midi, we become adults. And sunset, we are old. The next morning, we are children again. Thus, we live forever. Sangha spent seven happy days in Mel, enjoying the beautiful valley with its green trees and flocks of white birds. Then the old woman said, Son, now you should return to your village, for no ordinary person lives in Mel. She gave him seeds of different grains and said, Take these seeds to your village and your people will never lack food. We shall send a flock of white birds as messengers to your village. When you see them, sow the seeds at once. Following the legions, the lectures still believe that the arrival of flocks of white birds indicates that they should go to the work in the fields. Every year, after sowing new seeds, they pray to their revered ancestors to bless them with a fine harvest. <laughs>